Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> it's not over. <laughs> These are the boots I bought to go to Greenland and the North Slope of Alaska. And they go way down below the snow. The dogs are having a good time though. <laughs> we won't be using the Prius anytime soon. <laughs> so, um, there's a lot of snow up here in the Hudson Valley and there's no power and it looks like from what Central Hudson was saying there'll be no power for a while. So we're learning to live um, the uh, low energy life um, in a big way. I'm really bummed out that I didn't follow my friend and colleague uh, Tom Zeller's uh, model and get a, an insert, a wood burning insert for our fireplace. Uh, so we're burning very inefficiently. Now oh, it's time to put a little more recycled carbon under the fire. Uh, it's kind of fun in a way, in a short term way, to not have power because we can just kind of do the analog stuff. So uh, this is how you uh, this is how you flush your toilet when it looks like when Central Hudson, your utility, says there may not be uh, power for a couple of days. You have to take a lot of snow, and uh, this is not Mark Bitten and doing a simple recipe. This is just sort of maintenance. And so this re this kind of reminds me that um, back in the day, the old days, when we didn't fill our our days with things like blogging or journalism or uh, other stuff. You filled your days with getting through the day. So, this is how you finish uh, preparing to flush the toilet after uh, you've had no power for three or four days and have melted the snow and have put it in a bucket and uh, etc. But the trucks are on the street, the power crews are here, so stay tuned. So it's been two days and a little change, and we're waiting for rescue. Not the helicopter you hear overhead, but the neighbors who have been plowed out and have a car. We're going to do simple things, try to find a shower, try to go to the market and get some milk. Rescue.